Hi, Pat in Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to pray. And I ask you to join me in prayer. For those of you who have dabbled in the occult and in the dark magics, the white magic, black magic, red magic, whatever you want to call it, um, and you've dealt with incantations, levitations, oh, anyway, candles, tarot cards, Ouija boards, whatever. I'm going to pray a prayer for those who have dabbled and for those whose ancestors have dabbled in the occult or witchcraft. And we will denounce and totally turn our backs on anything that's been done through our bloodlines. Amen? Father, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus to forgive us for sin and fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit. Father, I pray, Lord, that you would pour your Spirit out on us and cleanse us and purify us from all unrighteousness and all evil in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I denounce all connection to the occult, witchcraft, and the magics, the white, the dark, black magics. And in the name of Jesus, I rebuke all connection and denounce all past use, disconnect myself with the Ouija board, with tarot cards, with mediums, with, with uh, incantations, curses, hexes, spells, in the name of Jesus. I refuse to do any of that again. For your sake, Lord. And any stuff I have tried to put on anyone, I ask you to cancel it and I denounce it. I neutralize it by the blood of Jesus. And I pray, Father, that you would bless those that have been cursed through the match, you know, through the, uh, the occult. I pray, Lord, that you would turn the curses back to those that have sent them. If there are any generational curses in my bloodline, I pray, Lord, that you would cleanse that bloodline by the fire of your Holy Spirit. And I plead the blood of Jesus on my bloodline. And because I belong to Christ, I no longer have to inherit generational curses because there are no more. I no longer have to inherit genetic sicknesses because there are no more. By the stripes on Jesus' back, I am healed. I don't have to carry what came in my bloodline because I am under a new covenant and that covenant is Jesus Christ and him crucified. In the name of Jesus, if there are any people in my family that has murdered, killed, had abortions, had um, any type of volatile lifestyle or addictions, I refuse all that. I don't accept it as part of me. Because even though the family and the people were ahead of me in, my, in, in the lineage of my family, I don't have to take on any of, their, any of their associations with the dark side. I only associate myself with Jesus Christ. As for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. You hear me? We will serve the Lord. And there is no other God but God. Some call him Jehovah. Some call him Yahweh. Some call him Yahuwah. Whatever you want to call. He is our Father which art in heaven. And he is the one true God. And that is the God that I lay my life down to. I allow, I invite him to come in and 
take control of my life, lead and guide my steps, shed light on my pathway, bless me coming in, bless me going out, shower me with the fruits of the Holy Spirit and righteousness, love, mercy, truth, virtue, forgiveness, kindness, tender mercies, long-suffering. I take off the flesh, the old man of sin, and I put on the new man of flesh because I have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. And I ask you, Lord, to fill me with your Holy Spirit, with all the cleansing power that comes with him. I thank you, Lord. I praise you for deliverance. I magnify you, Lord. I glorify you for physical healing, for mental healing, for emotional healing. Thank you, Father, for disconnecting me with the sins of the past and with the sins of my ancestors and family members. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hopefully that covered the gamut for you. God bless you.